Today we're gonna try something a little bit different. Instead of going out to explore New York, I'm gonna take you with my wife Adriana and I as we do some of the day-to-day -day things of our lives in Park Slope, Brooklyn, because living in New York is just a little bit different than many other places, you'll see. So since I shot the apartment tour video about nine months ago, we have fully decorated the apartment. And one of the biggest advantages of having an artist as a wife is that she basically took control and decorated with almost all of her own work. Adriana spends about 80% of her day, maybe more in this room, working on something always. Yeah, if I'm not here, I'm in the kitchen eating. But yeah, most of the time I'm here. But I had this idea, like pizza, bagels, and pastrami sandwich. So I'm gonna do one of each, and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen, because I think it's a great idea. It looks so good, you can just grab it and eat it right off the page. And, and this will be available in your Etsy shop, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make them digital, so you can have them on my Etsy shop if you're interested. Uh, you can check it out. All right, looking a little light in here. One of the unique challenges of living in New York City is most people do not have cars. So we're gonna show you how we get our shopping and laundry done in one swift trip. Big shopping trip or medium? Uh, maybe medium, big. I never, I always say medium and when we are there, it's like huge. The good thing is we live in the second floor. only people walking in Brooklyn who have carts. It's a very common thing. In New York, it's all about maximizing every trip. The annoying trips. The annoying trips, yes. The fun <laughs> trips you don't care about, but these are the trips you have to make. It's $3 for one machine, one of the small machines, and $6 for the big one. That's a lot of quarters. How many quarters do you need for this? We need 12. Go shopping and after we go switch the laundry to the dryer. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see the whole process. I think everyone's always wondering how you and I stay in shape with all the cheap eats we're always eating on the channel. Well, the rest of the week we eat healthy veggies. <laughs> seen these as much as four dollars in Manhattan for one. These aisles are not very big. This is a very New York City concept. How many carts could fit down this aisle? One. One or maybe two, like really tight. $12.99 for a pound of salmon. Prices are going up. You have an aisle of uh, food for Latin food or Asian food and honestly I can find most of all the things that I need to cook Mexican food here. What did you get? Uh, right now I got beans. I like to make them myself. So I love that I can find them like this and I can cook them at home. I don't like canned beans if I'm on this video. <laughs> Have the groceries cost $103. This was actually our cheapest shopping trip in a really long time. And depending on what supermarket you go to, normally it is quite a bit more expensive to shop in New York City than other places, but we have to factor in their cost of commercial rent is expensive as well. Say hi, Edie. What's, what's hi. your name? Edie. Edie? <laughs> Where are you going? One of the cool things about Park Slope is they have these little community gardens. You can come sit open to the public. Adriana's moving our clothes from the washer to the dryer. And I get to hang out here in this garden. There's even free books. There's even just books right here if I want to read something. No elevator yet. Oh, uh, maybe I'm really old school, but I like to see what I'm buying. And when it's about fruit, I like to know that what I'm getting is fresh and it's also ready because sometimes fruit is not ready and then it takes forever for us to eat it. Oh, let me just... Mexico, it's a piece of chicken, but we normally keep the bone. In Mexico, they sell the chicken with bones. You don't know how weird this is for me to be eating a home-cooked meal on the channel. 99.9% .9 of the time, we're at some restaurant or some food truck. We're the married couple that has lived here for a while and that we're cool being home mm -hmm. a lot of days. This is a very different than your typical American chicken soup, as Adriana said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be a crime not to go outside today when it's 75 degrees in Brooklyn, all of New York. It just looks nicer as the fall approaches, doesn't it? There's something in the air. 
mask, nice shirt. Oh, thank you. This is our favorite coffee shop in the neighborhood, Velvet. I come here so often, I almost qualify for a free coffee. I'm like one away, look at that. I don't know, I think a lot of people maybe dream of coming to New York and just hanging out at cafes all day. I'm here to tell you, your dream can become a reality. Mm. Oh, it is. Yeah, people have some very creative things in Park Slope for uh, their decorations. It looks like an old bike. It has vines growing everywhere. It's the beginning of the month and in Park Slope, so many people just give things away on the curb. I did not see this too often in Lower Manhattan. Check this out. Like someone, someone literally gave away their entire record collection right here. I lived in Greenwich Village for nine years and the novelty eventually wore off living there with how pretty a lot of the buildings were in the neighborhood, but it's only been about 10 months in Park Slope and the novelty of these brownstones and just exploring my neighborhood, which I still consider kind of new for me, has not worn off. And I love these walks so much. This is something I could actually do every single day and not get tired of at all. Copyright issues. I always have to buy something. That's why I try to avoid it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Got this for the bathroom. A sloth plant holder. I spend an inordinate amount of time right here at my desk editing YouTube videos. It takes me on average, I don't know, five to eight hours to edit a vlog like this. It's a lot more work than it looks like. Also watching other YouTube videos, always you know, getting ideas, supporting other creators that I follow. So you, if you came to this apartment randomly, you'd probably find it right here. Adriana and I are not one of those couples that likes to watch things together. I'd say 99% of the time we don't watch the same stuff. I confess I have bad taste. <laughs> I'm the one with a bad taste in the relationship. Jim always wants to see 80s movies, like gray movies, and I just want to watch my Korean shows or Turkey shows or scary movies. I'm really on a Bourdain kick of late. If you watch some of my videos, maybe you'll notice I love having other guests and taking some inspiration from his style. Tap lamps. I like to read uh, 30 minutes before going to sleep. What do you got today? Today it's a scary stories book. By the way, shout out to Crystal, one of our Patreon members, for giving me the idea for this video. I appreciate it. And I am reading Adriana's birthday gift for me this year, the Encyclopedia of New York. And it might sound boring, but this book has been nothing short of hilarious. Like, did you know that in 1973, the lap dance was invented at a strip club in Times Square. You learn something new every day. That's why I like this book so much. Tell me in the comments, how does a day in New York City compare to where you're from? I'm curious. I don't know if this was exciting. Was it boring? Tell me what you thought, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.